Hey what's going on pop fans, my name's DJ Grey and here at Consultronics the beat never stops as today I bring to you a chart topping selection of some of the biggest hits and underground smashes from the genre of music games in my Rhythm Video Games Showcase. And we start with the game that popularised the genre, Parappa the Rapper. I don't know if it's because rap music has fallen from grace in recent years, or whether people just can't play games where the object is to press a button when prompted, but Parappa's legacy, despite being very popular when first released, so much so that for a brief period he was held up as a mascot for the PlayStation. But Parappa is now considered one of those games best left forgotten. I don't don't know why. It's excellent. Now we start entering cult video game territory. Buster Groove, known in Japan as Buster Move, is a slick and addictive rhythmic button basher that definitely benefits from a second human player in what can be edge of your seat excitement as the two of you dance off. The first game that you see here was released worldwide. A sequel improved the experience but like always wasn't released to the gaming third world of Europe. I guess our money just isn't good enough for some video game developers. You win! <laughs> If Buster Groove was a cult game, then Paco Paco Passion feels a bit more like an under-the-counter type of experience. But this interesting moving blocks to the beat game, I picked up on input for Tuppence back in the late 90s, was pretty popular in Japan. So much so that there would be three games in the franchise, all released to some success in arcades, before all three got ports to the PlayStation 1. And I know what you're thinking, the Japanese will buy any old tat if it has some anime figures in it, but this time I think they were onto something. <laughs> Here's one for all you furry fans out there, you know who you are. This is called Dog of Bay. Make of that what you will. But English nonsense aside, this is a tidy little dance rhythm game that I keep coming back to despite the jarring anthropomorphic theme. It really is a good game. Ah, oh, Gitaru man. Try to imagine all of the greatest moments you can think of from playing video games, then times it by 10. Then, and only then, do you have Gitaru Man. Koei, who are best known for their historical simulations like Romance of the Three Kingdoms and Dynasty Warriors, turned their talents to the rhythm game back in 2002 and crafted, for me at least, the genre's finest example. I don't expect any of you watching this to have seen the fantastic anime that this Japanese exclusive PSP release is based on, but that doesn't mean you have to miss out on one of the best handheld rhythm games around. A HD re-release would appear on the PS3, but the PSP game still shines bright as a must-own title for Sony's Portable. A great game. I love you Ritsu. A 
lot of people are surprised at the fact that I don't rate the Dreamcast as some sort of near-perfect, ahead-of-its-time wonder machine, even though I owned one from launch. Maybe it was the fact that in its short life the PS1 was still getting the better games, or the fact that all of the Dreamcast's supposedly best titles got ported to other systems and nobody bought them or even cared. This is the PS2 port of the Dreamcast original, that's worth picking up if you can find it on the cheap. Sega. Now we're getting to the good stuff. This is Project Diva for the PSP, the first in a still running franchise of rhythm games starring multimedia minx Hatsune Miku, the world's first vocaloid which basically means she's a vocal synthesizer. I'm not quite sure what all of that entails, but she wears short skirts and has big hair, so you know I would be sitting in the front row for this. Seriously though, if you haven't tried any of these excellent titles for the PSP, Vita, PS3 or PS4, give them a chance. They're fantastic. <laughs> Thought I'd bookend this video with another Parappa game, but not the direct sequel on the PS2. Instead, here's the largely forgotten, or ignored, one of the two, Um Jama Lami, a sort of rock chick side story to Parappa, taking place in the same universe. And while very good, I always felt it lacked a little something when placed alongside the original. Worth checking out if you've never played it though. So there we have it folks, we've reached the end of the video and if any of you are wondering where's Guitar Hero, don't worry, I didn't forget about it. It will appear alongside DJ Hero and maybe Beat Mania in a video of their own. Look forward to it. So all that's left is to say thank you very much for watching, more videos up soon, so please like, share, comment and subscribe. My name's Grey, goodbye. <laughs>